Hey, I'm Joe Connolly with Suma Ready, who founded a great new green product company called Farm Shelf, which basically makes bookcase sized hydroponic growing stations for restaurants or homes. And Suma was one of our first guests when we started this series of interviews a couple of years ago. Welcome back, Suma. Thank you. I'm so and glad how, to be here. <laughs> how has business grown for you in the last couple of years? Um, it's been exciting. We, we've grown exponentially. Um, in the past two years, uh, we've tripled our, our team size. We're now over 30. Um, we have sold probably 15x the number of products. I think last time we talked, we maybe were beta testing four of our farms, our bookshelf size hydroponic farms to, um, to celebrity chefs. Now we have maybe 150, 180 uh, in the market right now. And are most of your units in people's homes or in restaurants? Great question. Um, so we uh, have decided to start B2B. So for us, our main customers are, are corporate cafes. So think Twitter's corporate cafeteria or American Express that has 11 or six of our farms, um, as well as schools. So schools and universities who may use it um, not only for the food, but as a STEM education tool and now, then hotels as well. Wait a minute. So American Express has, as you put it, six of your farms. Yeah, yeah. Now, how do they get a farm into their cafeteria? Tell us how it happens. Yeah, so um, we install it ourselves or we work with a, a distributor, but we do have an installation team and it's plug and play. So um, each of our bookshelf size units, four by six feet, um, put in on a box truck um, pretty simply, get to the destination. Hopefully there's an elevator or something like that. And then we roll it in, plug it in and you're all, you're all set. And the cafeteria at American Express now picks some food from your unit each day, each week, each month, what? Yeah, exactly. It could be, um, maybe it's twice a week, maybe once a week, depending on their harvesting schedule. So um, for, for them, they're using ours for mostly herbs. So think your basils, your fennels, your thyme. Um, and we really can provide, you know, 60, 80 percent of their herb needs for their 3,000 employees. This is so unbelievable. Yeah. And we're going to show some of the pictures of your installations. Yeah. And they look like something that an architect would design just for ambiance, never yeah. mind it being a hydroponic growing station. They really look beautiful in a restaurant. Yeah. Um, for us, we champion our plants. Um, we think they are the heroes, the heroines. And so we are, we're very design conscious when we decided to uh, design the farm shelf because we really wanted to spotlight, um, no pun intended, <laughs> to spotlight the plants. Yeah. Now, how do the customers know that that is actually food growing in that case that they see? Do you ever put up a sign or they get the idea eventually? How do you, how do they know the good news? Yeah, um, just by seeing it. Um, you can see that it's real and you can see those plants are growing. Um, and so in pictures, actually, sometimes me, even though I'm around this all the time, I've been like, did we Photoshop that? Because the plants look really too beautiful. And it's like, nope, those are real. Those are real plants. And those are how plants are supposed to grow when they're healthy, when the quality is optimized, um, and when the yield is optimized. When did you know you had a hit on your hands? How soon after starting? Um, so pretty early on. Um, so Andrew, who's the first founder of the company and, and the other co-founders, um, when defining the, the business model, we, we really um, hit on the fact that there's a zeitgeist around food and we really can hit on these trends towards healthy eating, local eating, um, this, this idea that why would we ship our produce, which is our most perishable food, thousands of miles to get to a farm to a table? It's just, it's crazy when you think about it. And so I think people are waking up to this fact. They're waking up to the fact that food should taste, um, should have a strong taste. Your herbs, your lettuces should actually kind of be potent when, when you taste them. And once you actually taste real food, um, when it's grown at site, and farmers have known this forever, gardeners have known this forever, right? This is nothing new, but what is new is that the zeitgeist um, is, is real right now. Were you looking 
for a business to start in food or in anything or take us back to before the start? Yeah. Um, so I think what's really fun about this business, it's the intersection of food, it's the intersection of technology, it's the intersection of sustainability. Um, and so we sat there and said, we can really take the best parts of all of this and all create- All these trends. All you, of these you're looking trends. for trends yeah. intersecting. I mean, we're, we're technologists, we're um, agronomists, we're scientists, um, engineers, designers, um, business people. And so we're, we knew that when you think about food production um, in today's, today's world, there's something wrong with it, right? Why are we shipping thousands of miles? Where do you go from here? Now what? Um, sky's the limit. Uh, that's very cheesy, but <laughs> I mean, for us, our goals um, are to raise a Series A round. Um, we want to grow from selling 150 units in 2019 um, to several thousand next year. We want to expand from B2B um, in these business accounts to growing food in your apartment or in your house, um, in schools, everywhere um, schools. possible. Oh. Yeah. Schools what is, a huge market. It's a, it's a huge market, and as a mission-driven person myself, um, really meaningful in terms of what we can teach kids um, in terms of what it means to eat healthy food, real food, but also technology. Um, this is a this is a beautiful technology, and there's so much from a design, engineering, steam perspective that we think is valuable. So, how you'll raise money to hire to grow? Yeah. Um, have you started to specifically plan how you will grow? Yes, we definitely have. Yeah. Right, I, because I'm told. You really have to plan that very specifically in advance, not as it's unrolling. Yeah. I just had <laughs> spoke with some people who were telling me about that. Yes, exactly. Um, so use of funds is, is kind of a term um, that a lot of investors will ask. What is your use of funds? And so for us, um, growing the team with experienced leaders um, as well as very smart leaders um, is really important. Um, as well as thinking through product development. We are a hardware product. Um, and so what that means is that our product life cycle is 12 to 15 to even 18 months. Um, Peloton, for example, took two years to release their tread or their treadmill. Um, and so for us, we need a lot of time to develop what will be the next um, generation of our product. Now, but does, is the next generation different sorts of installations or different types of foods to put in them? Oh, awesome question. Um, a little bit of both. Um, so the engineering, we think, um, will, will really be optimized um, for that uh, reliability, but also really nailing this engagement with the user, um, building communities around our farms, um, and really optimizing impact. And that impact could be uh, increasing our crop list. So we absolutely are crop thinking- Crop list, crop farms. List. These are amazing yeah. words so you're using it, for a company based in, <laughs> in, in, the, in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we, we right now have 36 crops in our crop list of leafy greens and herbs and edible flowers, and we'll continue to increase that, right? And we'll eventually do peppers. Um, we'll eventually do tomatoes, right? We'll eventually do strawberries. And so those are some of the dreams we have for the future. A quick uh, definition, once again, of hydroponic. So hydroponics is um, growing without soil. So instead of soil and instead of the sun, we have LEDs um, that really um, translate energy um, and are the sun substitute. And then instead of soil, we have um, nutrients in the form of uh, liquid. But not chemicals. Not chemicals, yeah. And yeah. I'm still struck by what you said that at American Express, they will harvest your crops yeah. in the cafeteria yeah. a couple of times a week. Mm -hmm. So your crops grow very fast. Yes, um, great point. So our crops grow two to four times faster than traditional agriculture um, with 90% less water. And the reason that that happens is um, hydroponics, um, when it's truly optimized, which is what we're doing, it's precision agriculture, it's preci precision farming. And so by controlling things like the temperature, the humidity, the lighting, the air, um, we really are getting the plants what they need when they need it. Suma, 
your business story is inspiring, and Thank you're you. a wonderful spokesperson <laughs> for it. Thank and you. Suma was one of a group of people who rang the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange the other day. Yeah. And I think you're <laughs> going to be back there someday, Suma, for your so. listing of your company, ticker symbol shelf. <laughs> Great so. to see you again. Thank you, Joe.